Um, can you tell me about your book that you wrote? Um, it's about a bunch of bubblegum people and candy people who are trying to find the bubblegum princess. Okay, and you guys wrote it together? Yes. Cool. What's it sort of about? Well, it's kind of about, um, well, one day, like, when the king, he's at his castle and he notices that his, the bubblegum princess is missing, so he sends out his best knight called Gummers the Brave. He's a green gummy bear, and then he gets captured, too, so then the king goes looking for them, and then he finds them, and then super this lollipop named Super Lolly, he rescues them. Cool. And then you made this into an e-book, right? Yes. And so what apps did you use to make it into an e-book? Well, we used Kino, which we kind of presented well, made it on, and so then we just took snapshots of it, and then we put it on ebooks and started recording. And then we used. Uh, what what did you use to draw the pictures in the first place? We used Drawing Box. Um, it's kind of like Adobe Ideas, but it's more. Uh, you have more textures and more different types of colors. Um, you have like a lot more to choose from. So we went on Safari and like we searched how to draw cartoons and we came up with a website called How to Draw Cartoons and it has almost every cartoon and that's how we came up with Super Lolly. And we kind of got the idea of the princess and then a little bit of the bubblegum king because you saw all these other different characters and you just combined them all. And that's all the apps we used to make the story. Very cool. Can you go back to um, Drawing Box mm -hmm. and um, do a little bit of drawing so we can see how that works? Sure. Matt, you're the artist. You do some art. You're both good artists. So I see you're using a stylus. You like that better than your finger? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of easier because when you use your finger, you can't really write as easily. And when you're using the stylus, it kind of feels like you're actually just using a regular pencil, but it's just a little bit heavier. Right. So. Mm. And then can you show how you do a screenshot? So you'd push the yellow arrow, and then you push both of the power buttons at once, and it takes a picture of it. And then you can go into your pictures, and then it is, we have a lot of pictures, and then it'll be right there. And then that's what you put into Keynote. Yes. And then, so then you'd go to Keynote. A new one for us. And then you can click your own background, what you want to do for Keynote. And then there's a lot of different kinds that, and you can put different photos of them, and there's, and you have to have room for pictures and writing and everything. And then you can actually just flip your pictures if you wanted to and, ma and mask them. <laughs> Madison's the best at this because it doesn't want to turn. <laughs> so if you use both your fingers and then you just like you just kind of twist them and then it has it just like flips the photo and then you can type whatever you wanted. That's truly amazing. <laughs> Was it fun? Yes. And it's a really funny story, too. Well, we'll put it online so everybody can read it. You'll be published authors. You'll get famous. <laughs>